Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today uh, we would like to work on this beautiful piece. Uh, it's um, a lovely autumn landscape and this beautiful prince of uh, jungle is showing here. So uh, it's a limited palette. It's just white, yellow and a little bit warmer yellow like an orangey color is on the stance and then the rest is just a black color and then we can fade a little bit with bluey white um, in front as well even a little bit reddish brown we can add on, on this uh, the stance as well to make it a little bit more warmer and darker so the material that we are going to use is uh, this kind of paint so i use on paper palette uh, because it's just one time I can use it and put it in a garbage I uh, don't want to clean it because acrylic has glue inside it's not easy to clean it after and uh, we need uh, at least two brushes so it can be one bigger size and um, flat for hold the painting and one smaller and pointy is better for the details that we see here and I prefer to mix my paint by palette knife so these are about that and let me put this aside i'm going to mm, do painting on a wood panel wood board so we can go with the canvas we can go with the paper or even wood panel all are equal and good material actually this is so smooth and soft sometimes i really love the smooth surface of the wood we need glass of water and we need rag or napkin to clean our brushes so we can start our painting now. I'm going to first of all start from the stance. Everything I see on the stance and then move forward. And the stance is the sky yellowy part and this warm orangey and then a little bit reddish brown around it. So I'm going to start with that. First of all, I have white color and yellow. I add two different yellow. This is a permanent yellow. And this is gold yellow we don't need actually two different yellow I, I want to have a little warmer as well so the white color mixed with yellow because the center is more brighter if I bring the model you can see if I bring the center is a lots of white in it and uh, it's not really just a pure yellow so it's warmer because of that and lighter and because of that I mix with the white color so let me mix a little bit more with the white and yellow. And then we have already pure yellow and then the orange color. So I mentioned about the reddish brown a little bit. I prefer to have it. And the reddish brown is burnt sienna. If you don't have, uh, it's okay. We can add a little bit brown, dark brown, mix with the red, give us something close to this color. So I try to start with the yellow color first and start with the bigger size of brush. So the rock is in front. So we can just mention about the rock. And then add the tone everywhere around it on top. And it's better to go with really thick and heavy paint at the beginning because it's easier to cover the white of canvas. Back and forth. Because acrylic has glue inside and easily dries so fast. I prefer to use a lots of paint, I mean thick paint, because it gives me more time to get dry and I can more relax to work on the rest. So this is about the lighter part that we already have on the canvas. And then the pure light yellow, right away I will bring it close to this white and yellow color because I don't want to let it dry both sides. Sometimes have happened that it gets 
dry because it's acrylic so it doesn't need to be worry pure white color it can mix on the edge and give us a nice result like blending uh, yellow and white like that so anytime you can back and forth bring the new paint on top bring the darker tone or lighter tone Dark I mean uh, pure yellow, uh, lighter I mean mixture with the white. And then I move on with the other yellow. This yellow that I have is a little bit more close to warm orange color. It's a uh, golden yellow. But if you don't have it, it's okay. Just the orange. Uh, if the orange is so bright like that, you can mix with the yellow make it lighter close to the yellow i try to mix a little bit warmer tone i don't want to have the line in between the yellow and this warm orange so I don't want to let it cut from each other I bring more white and yellow in between and try to help them blend together a bit more back and forth with the brush I try to make them blend together and give me nice and smooth sky I forgot to mention the size of uh, this wood, wood board that I'm going to work on it is 8 by 10 inches so uh, any size actually it's okay depend on the uh, painting you would like but this painting if you go with a really big size would be nice too because of it's so uh, not really busy painting but that's so beautiful because of the Prince of Autumn that we have. So I add a little bit orange here, just a bit more, and at the same time I don't miss the yellow. I, I bring the yellow, I bring the pure white color sometime on the edge, and with more brush stroke try to let them move into each other and blend together. And the surface is wet, so we can go with a little bit reddish brown on the edge especially on the edge because it's on more darkness I go back and forth and I can clean my brush with napkin prefer not to clean it with brush uh, with the water because um, then I don't have this heavy texture. I lose this heavy texture when I go uh, wash my brush with the water. Then the watery brush come on top and lose this thickness. Close to that, a little bit orange. I'm happy with this. I think it's it has a nice transition between the lighter color or warmer and then a little bit darker tone. So start the other side. Um, I like this gold yellow, but as I mentioned, if you don't have it, doesn't matter. Just one yellow would be okay. Even you can mix yellow with um, white color and then reach the value that you are interested so mix prefer mix my paint with palette knife but sometimes for a tiny bit of paint it's okay to do it by with a brush but the reason i don't like brush because i uh, waste a lot of paint and then damage this part of the brush and it doesn't give us exact mixture that we want because of that prefer to do it 
a palette knife. So when I finish the side, the other side is get dry. Again, I need to back with the yellow color or yellow white to make it wet. And don't worry if you more add brush stroke, your painting get more strong. So we don't need to finish with one layer. We can go as much as layered as we want. And that help our painting um, get more strength, be more strong. So I'm okay with this. Then disappear the edge back with warmer tone. Even the orange color. When I want to help it disappear like that, I try to use less pressure in my hand. Not pressure a lot. Because when you add a lot of pressure, sometimes you lift up the paint or sometimes uh, really uh, actually hard paint come on top and uh, not blend together. If, if we want to let it a little bit smooth come on top, so we need to use less pressure in hand. For the edge, I'm going to add more orange and reddish brown to make it more warm. And make sure not to use um, dry surface because you see the transition very nice they connect together blend together and this happened when the surface be wet so if some part get dry again back and add the color on it and make it again uh, be white uh, be wet and then move to brownish Okay, now I'm fine with this background. We can give it time a little bit to get dry, even a little. Let me add more orangey here. And at the same time, more yellowy tone. Mix them together. So we can give it time to get dry and then start for the next part. Now for next part, I'm going to add this rock on top. And I'm not adding any foggy uh, details that we see. Just adding the rock very flat and simple, just a solid black color. And wait everything get dry like the sky. So we need the bigger size of brush. And take the black and try to cover it. Just solid black color. I add the brown on my palette too. Sometimes it's it's good to go with a little bit black and even on the stands for trees it's nice to use black color sorry brown color to make it a little lighter and make it um, look like more it's fade on the stance 
and for the foggy um, style that we see in front we will do it with the cobalt blue and the white color So please add the black color on it and then make it really thick and heavy to cover all the white of canvas or the uh, texture of wood. When we go with really thick paint it's easier to get uh, cover it but it takes time to dry. We can use hair dryer to help dry faster. Look, name is this has, yeah, this is exactly like the rock that we want. So uh, we can start adding the trees, but I think a little bit we need to wait. The background need completely dry. Maybe it's easier to do after it gets completely dry. They, it doesn't mix with, with the uh, light color. So I prefer always everything be dry and then move on for the next part. Okay, now everything is dry. Even if the yellow, because the yellow and white takes really time to get dry. So we can uh, give that time. We are not going to um, draw out there. So we start to adding the trees. And if you see on the stance, it's a little bit fade to the background, it's really lighter. And all these branches that we see, all, all these uh, tree trunk, it's more darker and more close to us and more thicker. So we need to make this narrow trees first and then on forward we add these tree trunk uh, which is uh, thicker and darker in front. The last things. Um, for the one which is on further, we are going to add lighter color. I'm not uh, going to do with the black. I'm going to mix a uh, brown, a little bit brown with maybe orange to make it really lighter to adding on the stems. So even reddish brown is fine too if you have. If you have, with the reddish brown is okay to mix with a little bit brown or even just a pure reddish brown. So you can add a little brown with the orange. That's nice too. Or just reddish brown. Both are okay. And when I want to show that this is on the stance and let it fade on the stance, it's okay if I add a little bit drop of water in my brush. It doesn't need to be really thick. So this watery brush stroke help uh, after it dry after it get dry the paint absorb with the background of the uh, canvas or wood and give us a nice result. So I can start from here. Draw a straight line. Not really straight. It's it's a tree, so it doesn't need to be really perfect straight. And with the tip of pointy brush, I try to make the details of the trees. And even it has a little bit drop of water, so it can fade. That's perfect. So I can add like this brush stroke. Doesn't need to make it really fade, so a little bit it's okay, not much. Just play with your brush stroke or with the tip of brush to randomly add some uh, leaves around the tree trunk and shape it more accurate. So 
that's fine I, i'm not adding until the end even the other i want to make it like a jungle to make it busy so i can add another tree trunk further a little bit when i add the other trees on top sometimes it's disappear and shows that it's on the background but so far it's fine to adding uh, more leaves on it and make it exactly accurate but we know that the, the other tree will come on top for this one I'm coming till the bottom part Just randomly make it busy and add more shape as the leaves on trees. And you see I do randomly, I'm not make it really perfect. It's a nature, we don't need to make us... Uh, the challenge and even add more drop of water to make a little bit more like a branch when you want to draw a straight line it's nice to take your brush directly straight to the canvas that's so helpful to make the narrow line want to add more we can do it later in it now we can switch the other side start from here take the brush so straight I try to fade it like that less pressure a little bit drop of water help the line fade to the background like this the tip of tree is more short when we come down, it's get more thick. Or even in between we can add a little bit less we don't need to make it all be really big and uh, large because the shape of tree is like that some part is a little bit more busy some some part less and even we can make another one a little bit shorter like start from here Randomly we can add some tiny line as a branch like this to make the landscape on distance especially a little bit more busy to show more natural. And 
another tree trunk drop of water The tip is nice to be pointy more, but when we come down, we can make it randomly a little bit thicker brush stroke. I don't want to lose this nice background, so try to keep that and then randomly add some stroke to make it nice. So I think it would be okay. We need to wait this part get dry if we want to add even the darker color of um, the tree which is in front of us. We need to wait this one get completely dry and then work on that. Now I would like to start adding this really thicker and the darker um, tree trunk in front so when I add those it shows that this trees is moved background go to uh, to depth and if you see one two three is on this side and one two on the other side with this tiny one it's really just a black color and then lots of tiny branch uh, connect with that so we can go with that color and even a little bit lighter color it shows that even in inside of each tree uh, show the shadow and light but i start with just a flat brush and prefer to go with the bigger size of brush it's easier but it depends if you like with the smaller pointy brush you can go with that so i start to just to take a, a pure black and somewhere choose for example here on top i choose here start adding the black from top come down and in in the way that i'm coming down it's okay sometimes it gets thicker sometimes narrow and uh, they disappear into each other would be okay bring it down a little bit like this so we can pass from the trees even make a little bit thickness on it I prefer to go with this brush maybe a little bit smaller is easier to do yeah and when I come down I try to make the tree trunk a little bit thicker than the top part And with the tip of brush, we can add the tiny branches. Or even with the pointy brush, both are okay. Or we can leave it with the pointy brush to do it later. And then the other three trunk, I start from here a little bit, come down make it more narrow come here okay so just a nice movement and then make it thicker and darker
Okay. So this is another one. And then the third one is pass from here and come up. So start from this side, pass from this two tree, and then come up and reach here. And we don't need to be perfect in the line because it's a tree, it's nature. It's okay to make some part a little bit thicker, darker, bumpy, and some part narrow. So be relaxed to make the tree trunk and branches. So that's the trees. I add more branches close to each part later and start adding the other tree trunk here. And then connect this part here. And then the other one, it's come from here. Come down, shape it like that, connect it here and then come down like this. So we can play with the shape of our trees. When I want to add these trees, I'm not add, uh, see any other on, on, on the back of this one. So feel relaxed to cover those. and. Later, you can back and if you see that uh, there is no more tree uh, in front, then you can add a little bit closer together later. And uh, just with the lighter color, it helps they come out. They, they show they are on a depth. So this is about that. And make it a little thicker here. Now I would like to add the tiny branch close to those so again smaller brush pointy brush is easier to do that by adding like here come down a little bit like this shape it make sure the tip is supposed to be more narrow the end of the branch and then when it's connect to the tree it's okay to be a thicker And then a little bit like that, tiny from the other side. You can shape as much as you want. Add more branch, longer or shorter. Drop of water is more helpful to have the tip more narrow so And even for this one, for all of them, we can do as much as we want. We can make it more busy or less.
Okay. So even here, these are uh, branches are facing down. Sometimes it takes time on a wood to get completely dry and it's so challenging when we want to add um, on the top of it. Like here, it's uh, still wet actually, but we need to work on it. more here I would like to add a little bit here be fine and now I would like to add those um, actually that narrow tree I diluted on the water a little bit this one is a little in front I try to add narrow and uh, darker black here and then some branches narrow branch connect to this we need just one more after it get dry we can actually add another uh, dark black as well on top to make it more darker sometimes it's happened like this it's not really get dry get dark so I try to be more slow and try to add more a thicker paint on it but because of the surface that we have it's not uh, stick very well on a uh, wood actually it takes time to get completely dry but I'm happy with it that's fine there is nothing worse on it okay that's about this maybe a little more busy on this side nice to have So we are okay with this. I think we are fine. Okay, now I'm going to start uh, painting this beautiful prince of autumn uh, here on top of this rock. And we finished with the landscape. I'm okay with it. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to start this one and then this foggy uh under the rock so a little bit narrow and tiny so we need to be more uh use the tip of brush pointy brush so i diluted a little bit on a black paint imagine that the size is something like this so start with one side i i start with the head to give me an idea where is the rest of the body so this is the head part a little bit and I'm coming make it a little bit neck narrow come down little by little try to shape it very slow this is the neck come a little out and the body is like here then the back of body is like that come it's not much long so I just turn it uh, toward the rock and the narrow foot actually the narrow fit 
I can see the other two so I add all of them I add the tent as well here in front very slow come down like that for this one as well come down and then the other foot is show like here let me make it more accurate And then, top of the head, we have this. A little pointy. And the ears. The ears like a leaf. And then here. Try to be uh, very narrow, slow, and make the tip of brush, which is pointy part. That's so helpful to get rid of the thickness. But even sometimes happen that our line get really thick. So we don't need to be worried. We can fix it. Uh, after finish with the black color, let it completely dry. Then with the yellow white color come close to that and let it cover it so you can fix it like that. Even if your line get thick, there is nothing be worry us. We can we can fix it anytime. We can bring the yellow white close to that and cover it and make our line narrow. So I try to clean my line, make it more black and then I can move on to add the foggy style of weather under the rock. Okay, now we finish with the beautiful Prince of Autumn and now we would like to make this nice and foggy uh, movement on our painting that's a little bit like a grayish bluish color and if you see if you still can see the uh, black color of rock and the color of background so I will add the blue color it's a cobalt blue on my palette. Take some with brown color, mix these two together to make it warm. A little more blue and just a touch of white color. I would like to make it lighter. So a little more white color or even more. Little by little I prefer to add and see what happens. And then I can add more blue on it. To make this color and I would like to make if you see the color is so close even we need to add more blue completely are the blue we can add on it and make it more close to this one but we need to use the technique to show that a little bit like a cloudy and that technique is like dry brush stroke so we don't need to have this thick heavy paint we need to use dry brush stroke and dry brush stroke I take a really clean brush I dilute it into the paint like that and I use napkin and I use napkin to touch it 
like this less paint on my brush then take the brush like that very slowly try to help it move on your canvas like this even you can hear the sound of your brush stroke I don't cover everywhere I try to see even the background and make sure everything on background is supposed to be dry because if they wet they can mix together and they don't give us the same result we really search for it so I try not to cover whole this part I see this blacky color of my rock and even this is pure paint I need to bring it back so I will do that fix later let me finish here because always we need to have some technique to fix it even my paint already dry so I don't need to use a lots of um, touching napkin with it so this part is not completely good so I bring a little black touch my napkin add in between so with the pure black even we can add in between to help it fade this is another technique with uh, acrylic paint yeah that's that's okay that's nice even if we add a little more um, like a foggy style on top we can bring it back with the black bring it down if you don't like it a lot so you can add more black from the other way like from this part to down to the bottom part and make it disappear yep see there is no water in here so it's completely dry yeah, I hope you enjoy this painting we can call it down and hope you like this one thank you so much again for joining me and hope to see you next time bye for now